Good afternoon. It's not afternoon anymore. We've been over this. <laughs> it looks like it, but it's it does. not. Yeah, so. solstice is a thing. <laughs> My name is Chad Renfro. I'm with uh, Fifth Avenue Cigars. Uh, we got a few knives we're reviewing here. We also have a wonderful man from who used to work with Benchmade. Yeah, hello. We don't have to say that every time. Hello. I'm to say it every time. <laughs> I am Alistair, and I used to work for Benchmade. <laughs> And okay. now I uh, work with Northern Knives and these fine people <laughs> and get to smoke awesome cigars. So, My name is Lori. I'm with uh, Northern Knives and 3DK and Avenue Cigars. Watch their YouTube channel. It's pretty huh. fun. <laughs> I'm uh, Dakota. I'm their web admin. And uh, we're here to talk about some very special ProTech Knives. That Super just came special. In. Super mm -hmm. special? Super mm -hmm. special. Okay. Super duper. Super no, special. No, no, we can't do that. <laughs> no. Nope. Well, they're super they novas are, and they're supra They are novas. pretty awesome, though. Okay. Yeah. Why? Well, so they're made by a company called yeah. Protec, which is out of California. Oh, my. Uh, That's amazing. It is amazing. Ooh. So we started doing this yeah, particular TR3 in 2006. And the one in the middle is the prototype that we first did. And it says U.S. Air Force Combat Truckers. Not sure why it says that. I'm sure we did a batch of knives <laughs> with that on there. Uh, but they have evolved to all black hardware, black blade. We do partially serrated and non-serrated. Uh, they've got a good heat treat on their 154CM, which I know for some people is like a base level seal, but they do a really good job on it. Uh, and then we also do a rubber inlay on the handle. The button is flush with the scale, so the chances of it opening your pocket are very slim to none. They've got great springs, like out of all the side opening autos in the knife world, I think these are some of the best. Corey did show me the springs today, yes. and you can kind of just see from the springs. Yes. Should we grab <laughs> springs? We could put a picture up. We can definitely right put a picture up here. of the springs. <laughs> 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 they're a know. flat coil instead of just like they're a circular cool. coil. They're, they're a flat very cool. coil. Okay. They're just they're just different, and Dave will send us a bag of springs so we can replace them rather than sending them all the way back to California. But he just does a really nice. Auto. He does a lot of really nice knives. The these are priced really well. I feel for what you get. And what are they priced now? They're one ninety five. One ninety five. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then of course, since they're a special edition specifically for us, a model you cannot get anywhere, anywhere else. else. Anywhere. You want me a soda? Jinx. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> okay. I'll, oh. I'll. oh or there we go. It's right there. there. Know, I'd rather her stop talking. <laughs> I mean, can we? Bring, <laughs> but Dave always does these knives for us specifically, and he does our logo on the back for us. That's so. really cool. It is. It's and a really good knife. Tip up carry. It just, I like it. Well, that's what you want. Yeah, it's they're Tip super up. easy to take apart, put back together. We've actually had quite a few people that haven't been able to figure it out, so they bring it in here. No, not a problem. Uh, we did them for a while in CPMD two. There are very few out there, so I, there's a guy that comes in once or twice a year, and I always share this for free because. I like seeing that. I really like this rubber coating on it's here. It's grippy. reminiscent of uh, Microtech. Theirs was like grip tape. I know, but this, this is, is the higher end version. Yes, this is nicer. I like the serration pattern. Mm -hmm. Also it's kind good. of Microtech-ish, but... Uh, yeah, just a little bit. They used to be, I feel like they were more aggressive in the past. Yeah, sure. Uh, but they're This just... is more like a bread knife. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I know. Just just <laughs> knock these around. Right? And the packaging has changed also. They used to do these standard green boxes, and now they do oh, a the nice, is nice though. slip Very pouch. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think this is the first auto I've ever opened, and it uh, I really didn't realize how much they kick. <laughs> this is the first yeah. knife that slipped out of my hand. So There's a reason why they didn't open it. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great spring. Good, yeah. A good knife yep. right there. That is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I dig that. It's hmm. a slender profile, too. I don't know why we picked the tier 3 in the very beginning. That would be a question for Ray, but it had done very well. So Yeah, it seems <clears> to have <throat> all panned out. Yep. Yeah, we ordered these, I think, a year ago, and they, they were a little bit behind, which is, I mean, ProTech has blown up in the last couple of years. Uh, we get people all the time in here for knives uh, made by ProTech. So it's taking a little bit, but we're always happy to get more from Dave. Yeah, no, these are pretty impressive. They are like a, a basic auto, but at the same time, the fit and finish is mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah, it's Very nice, yes. It seems like they take quite a bit of pride in their work. They do. We mm -hmm. have a regular who uh, has been waiting 
the entire time for oh, yeah. these knives. Yep. And I called him yesterday, and he said he'll be in on Tuesday, and he's buying like 20 of them. Very nice. Yes. Oh, my. He is so, a nice So you're saying guy. we should put a new order in? Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just talk to Dave when he comes up here. One special thing we will do for our online friends is the first three people who purchase one of these will get one of these fantastic 20-year anniversary ProTech basically removed before f flight keychains. Yep. Flight tags, yep. yep. These are actually really cool. I got one on I my, like my keychain. Yep, I think my Jonathan monstrosity. has one too. Jonathan does have one. <laughs> yep. yep. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I guess they're just a basic plunge lock. They're, there's nothing too special about them except nope. they use a special spring. And yep, they have a much better spring, coral spring in them. Mm -hmm. And yep. as far as their heat treat, what, what separates them from the I don't know. I don't know who does their heat treat, if they do it in-house or they do it through someone else, but they just seem to hold a really nice edge, just overall. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they take a little bit of extra <coughs> special attention on them. Yeah, okay. I guess. I don't. I actually honestly don't know, hmm. but we have never had a problem selling them. And like the simplicity of it, you don't always need something giant and fancy and ridiculous, but they're simple enough, but they're attractive. The ergonomics on these are actually fairly decent. Yes. So it's got a nice troil there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one thing I did notice specifically about most autos is there is, like, uh, you, you pick up a Boker Striker, you pick up Someone a Kalashnikov. AFO2 even. Yep. AFO2. Yeah. You can take it and you can wiggle it. wiggle it back and forth. You can't do this with this. The lockup and machining is superb. I don't think that there are washers in there. That they are oh. metal on metal. Oh my! So that's for impressive. As like preci precisionly machined yeah. as they are, they operate really well, which might be why they do a higher end spring on them. But they just pop right open. I think really there's less than like feel good. there's less than a dozen pieces inside. You've got the one, two, three screws for the body, the main one, the button. There's a spring under the button, and then like the handles and blade, and then that's about it. That's all there is to it. Hmm. It's just a well designed knife. So go, Dave. Right to, on, Dave. Me Thanks and Matt shot show a couple of years ago. <laughs> you know, these are really nice. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, um, <clears throat> I hate to say it, but as far as plunge locks, it's almost kind of like Chris Reeve is to... The frame lock? The frame lock. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's revolutionary, but they just take do the time well. yep. and they do it right. Yep. Sometimes simple is better. Mm-hmm.